everyone, welcome back to part three or step three of making your own digital planner. Um, so in this step, I'm going to show you how to add your tabs to the sides um, of your planner. So what I'm going to do is just go to the plus sign, uh, go to the shapes, and I'm selecting the rounded square again. So I'm going to click on that. And with this one, what I like to do actually, let's just do add a new blank page. And I'm going to copy this one over to the blank page so I don't mess up my actual planner pages that I've already created. And what I'm going to do is take this bottom page layer and I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste it over into the second page that I have created so I can get the tabs lined up and all of that and like I said so I'm not messing up my actual planner page so I'm going to lock uh, let's see I'm going to lock it down just so it won't move or anything and I'm going to take this shape over here and I'm going to, uh, let's see, make it a little smaller. And this one you will have to kind of play around with um, to find out like what shape and size that, or tab that you like. But this is how I created mine because your tabs will be behind all your pages. So you want to make sure your tab is big enough to actually make it look like it was pasted on, or I, I really hope this is making sense, hold on. We will undo that and we will click on the paintbrush and bring it forward. So now you see the tab over here is behind my planner page. Um, that's kind of what you're looking for. So that's why you see it kind of overlapping my planner page. Um, so that's just kind of how I, I do that. Um, and now what you're going to do is make 12 of these and you can change them to any color that you want. Um, you can add a like scrapbook pages into it if you want and all of that. So I'm just going to leave it this color for now or you can change, let's see, which one am I on? Uh, change it, let's just change it to Let's just do a like a gr dark grayish color. Uh, so now what I'm going to do is copy it and I'm going to paste it 12 times and line it up. And with this one, what I'm going to do is go to the little blue dots or the little blue dots, the little the three dots at the top. And I'm going to turn on the edge uh, guides so this will help me guide it right along the first one just so it's not overlapping or anything like that so I'm going to paste another one and just keep doing this until you get your 12 tabs or whatever it is however many tabs you want but if you are making a planner you would at least like to have 12 tabs for each month so let's see so now that i have six here what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy or push put my finger on one of them and while my finger is still on that one i'm going to use another finger to select each one so you do that and i'm going to copy all those and now what i'm going to do is paste them or paste it so you will have your two sets of six so now what i'm going to do let's see is i'm going to let's see group these together real quick and do this uh same with the other ones i'm going to group them so i can turn all of them at once instead of having to turn each individual one and I'm just doing this so I can see like where my tabs are and connect them together and all of that. So now what I'm going to do is select both of them and group. 
I just found this to be a lot easier to resize all of them together to fit your planner or the side of your planner. So let's see. Line it up like that and resize it like that. So now you can see that my base planner page, the tabs will fit right on, right along with my base layer of my planner page. So now when I take this and copy it and paste it onto my actual planner page, um, you will see that it will fit right in with my planner or my planner pages. So what I'm going to do is click on my paintbrush with the tab still selected and I'm going to send it to the back and now you can see that it's in the back or behind those pages that we created um, and you can move it in a little bit more if you want to if it's you know not quite how you want it like that um, and then what I'm going to do is make sure I ungroup all of these because for you to add your interactive links, they have to be each separate tab, if that makes sense. So all of them, now if I select, oops, undo that. Now if I select on each one, it will be a individual tab. So, and then that's pretty much what you do for the other side. So what I'm going to do is just take and ungroup and say I just want six tabs on the other side. So I'm just going to, oops, delete six of those. Now I'm going to take this one with it still grouped because like I said, it is easier to size it, uh, to size all of them with it being grouped together. And I'm going to resize the tabs for the other side. So say you want six blank pages you can do it that way. So now what I'm going to do is copy and go to my planner page and I'm going to click paste and I'm going to bring them to the other side. Click on my paintbrush and arrange. So now I'm sending it pretty much to the back of my planner. As long as it does not go behind your actual base or your your binder or whatever you want to call it like see here now you can't see them at the bottom make sure that it's still at least in front of that and it will work perfect and then make sure you ungroup them so they're each individual tabs and then from there you can add your numbers or your numbers and stuff to your tabs and your uh, months to your tabs if you want to um, and yeah, that's pretty much how you do that. And what I'm going to, let's see, quickly show you because I already have the rings already in my binder or in my keynote. And you can get the PNG rings off of the Seriously Simple uh, Planner website or the uh, Facebook page. So you can go check in the files and she will have the uh, PNGs for the rings so i'm just going to click on this silver one and i'm going to copy it and i'm going to go back to my planner page and i'm just going to paste it in my planner and with my guides on it helps me to line everything up perfectly so i need to make it just a little bigger i think so there we go let's see make sure and now everything is lined up so like that and that's pretty much how you do that i hope you guys are liking the vi these videos and i hope they are helping and thank you so much for watching and i will talk to you guys later bye